where you should never touch friends, relatives, and strangers. Physical touch can enhance our emotional connections with others, but it's easy to misstep and seem overly touchy. Fortunately, new research published this week in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences sheds light on our unspoken social boundaries. The study, which surveyed 1,368 individuals, revealed that the closer someone feels to another person, the more comfortable they are with being touched on different parts of their body. The results show exactly where and by whom respondents felt touch was acceptable or uncomfortable. Researchers surveyed 1,368 individuals from Finland, France, Italy, Russia, and the United Kingdom, asking them to color a human outline to indicate where they felt comfortable being touched by various types of relationships. The scientists then averaged all the drawings. White and yellow areas represented zones where touch was comfortable, while red and dark red areas signified discomfort. Black areas represent taboo zones, where touch from a person in that type of relationship is strictly off-limits. On average, female respondents were generally receptive to being touched by their partner. Men were slightly more hesitant about being touched by their partners, though no specific areas of their bodies were entirely off-limits. Women also seemed pretty comfortable being touched by female friends, even on their faces. Men were a different story. They reported a lot more discomfort at the idea of being touched by female friends. Although in this scenario, on average, no specific region was taboo. Female respondents also didn't seem to mind being touched by their male friends. Whereas men only felt comfortable touching hands with their male buddies, even then, some men thought that would be uncomfortable. A cross-cultural taboo zone makes its first appearance on the crotch. The stronger the emotional bond with a person, the more comfortable respondents were with being touched. For example, women seemed about as comfortable being touched by their mother as their female friends. Men, on the other hand, weren't as warm to the idea of mom's touch. And women were uncomfortable with dad touching most places except their arms, upper back, and shoulders. Similar to a male friend, men gave dad a semi-cold shoulder. Touching was mostly limited to the hands. Similar to a male friend, men gave dad a semi-cold shoulder. Touching was mostly limited to the hands. Sisters could touch female participants in roughly the same areas as mom. This might be because of how close they are to their mothers and other women. Although male participants were more uncomfortable being touched by their sisters than other women, both sexes reported less discomfort overall when being touched by women. The women surveyed had a definite taboo region for their brothers, which didn't exist with their sisters. The men surveyed were uncomfortable being touched by brothers anywhere but on their hands, arms and shoulders. The study also looked at distant relatives. 
Female comfort being touched by female friends and relatives starts to fade at this point. Men, in keeping with the trend, weren't as open to their aunt's touch. This varied from country to country, but overall, the study reported that the country most averse to touching was the United Kingdom. The average female respondent indicated she'd be uncomfortable being touched anywhere by her uncle, except the shoulders, arms, and hands. Men were about the same, although some even reported discomfort touching hands. A woman's level of comfort being touched by a female cousin was about the same as it was with an aunt. Men remained quite uncomfortable by any physical contact, including any by female cousins. Once again, women remain wary of being touched by men, such as a male cousin. But nothing like men, who seem uncomfortable with most physical contact by a male cousin. Acquaintances and strangers is where women began limiting comfortable contact to their hands. The study didn't specify what acquaintances were, so it could be a casual date, a work colleague, or a distant friend. Things also start to diverge for male respondents, who reported discomfort with being touched by most anyone else. Surprisingly, the average man has no taboo zones for female acquaintances. The female respondents felt some discomfort being touched by their male acquaintances anywhere but their hands, but surprisingly no taboo region over the chest showed up. The male respondents reported discomfort being touched anywhere by male acquaintances but their hands. The idea of a female stranger's touch on the chest, thighs, and buttocks made all women report total discomfort. Once again, the men were quite open to being touched by female strangers, with no specific taboo region being identified. But male strangers are pretty much limited to hands, the female participants reported. All contact with the torso and legs are completely off limits. The same goes for men, who remain even more closed off to male strangers, not allowing them to touch the torso, legs, or feet. The head was a big no-no too. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comment section down below, and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end. Also make sure to check out our next highlighted video, and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.